गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास एंड वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश ग्रामर क्लास टूडे इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वर्ड्स फ्रेजेज एंड क्लॉजेज एंड आई गिव यू एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज थ्री ऑल्सो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वॉट इज अ सेंटेंस टू कंटिन्यू विद द टॉपिक ऑफ क्लॉज लेट एस री कैप द डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्लॉज अ क्लॉज हैज बोथ सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट it can stand alone as a complete sentence because it gives a complete meaning now when we talk about clause there are a uh, we can say there are two types of clauses main or independent clause subordinate or a dependent clause now subordinate or dependent clause are of three types noun clause adjective clause also known as relative clause and adverb clause in the independent clause stands alone it has a meaning of its own and it is a complete sentence whereas dependent clause is a subordinate clause it depends on its a uh, form, former part of the sentence now in today's video we will learn more about adjective clause as the definition goes an adjective clause also called relative clause is a dependent clause that modifies a noun or a pronoun adjective clauses almost always come right after the nouns they modify or change let us see a few examples here there is the mountain that we are going to in this sentence that we are going to climb is the adjective clause as it it tells us about the mountain noun here in this sentence Next example my blue tennis shoes which used to be my mom's were under the bed here in this sentence children which used to be my mom's is the adjective clause here as it tells us about the noun shoes in the third sentence daniel who was late again today sits next to me in english class so here we are talking about noun daniel who was late again today so in this sentence the adjective clause you can identify is who was late again today now the question arises as to how you will identify an adjective or relative clause an adjective clause also called an adjectival or relative clause will meet three requirements first it will contain a subject and a verb next it will tell us something about the noun and last it will begin with a relative pronoun who whom whose that or which or relative adverb when where or why talking about the relative pronoun and relative adverb children an adjective clause starts with a relative pronoun or relative adverb these are basically conjunctions of an adjective clause some of them could be a subject of the clause also let us see that which who can be subject and conjunction of an adjective clause whereas whom whose when where and why are only connectors and not the subject of a, a relative clause now adjective clause or relative clause uh, are of two types defining 
and modifying. Defining means to, it points out to the noun, the sentences which are a defining adjective clause do not have comma. For example, the man who lives next door is a, doc, is a doctor. This is a defining adjective clause. It does not have any commas in it. Whereas the modifying adjective clause, modify means to change, right? So, modifying uh, adjective clause gives us extra information about the noun. Therefore, it contains comma. For example, Dr. Smith, comma, who lives next door, comma, is a retired surgeon. Why? Because now here, the adjective clause who lives next door is giving us some more information about Dr. Smith, who lives next door is a retired surgeon, is the extra information about Dr. Smith. So children, this was the lesson on adjective clause. Remember that adjective clause starts with that, which, who, whom, whose, when, where and why. In our live online classes, we are going to practice how to identify these adjective clauses with some more examples. I hope you have enjoyed learning adjective clause. Kindly revise your lesson from your grammar book. I'll see you with my next video on noun clause. Till then, thank you.